Vice President Kamala Harris addressed an evening rally in Flint, saying that, unlike what Trump says about the Biden administration's rules on electric vehicles, I will never tell you what kind of car you have to drive. But here's what I will do, I will invest in communities like Flint, she said. Harris also criticized Trump and his running mate, J.D. Vance, after Vance, while campaigning in Michigan on Wednesday, refused to commit to continue federal support going to a GM plant in Lansing, Michigan state capital. Donald Trump's running mate suggested that if Trump wins, he might let the Grand River Assembly plant in Lansing close down, Harris said as the crowd booed. She said that, by contrast, the Biden administration had fought to keep the plant open, adding, Michigan, we, together, fought hard for those jobs and you deserve a president who won't put them at risk. Questions remain, though, about whether Harris can cement backing from most rank-and-file union members. Union voters have traditionally leaned toward Democrats, with 56 percent supporting Biden in 2020. But Trump has pushed hard to win over blue-collar workers traditionally represented by some of the biggest unions. He won 62 percent of white voters without college degrees, though only 24 percent of non-white voters without college degrees, in 2020. It's frustrating for Democrats, who point to the country's strong labor market, 254,000 jobs were added in September, more than expected, and the White House's firm support for unions. Thirty-two days, and we know we will do it. And, and, this is going to be a very tight race until the very end. And Michigan, let us be clear, contrary to what my opponent is suggesting, I will never tell you what kind of car you have to drive. But here's what I will do. I will invest in communities like Flint. Flint, which helped build the auto industry and the UAW. We will retool existing factories, hire locally, and work with unions to create good-paying jobs, including jobs that do not require a college degree. So Donald Trump makes big promises and he always fails to deliver. He said he was the only one who could bring back America's manufacturing jobs. Remember that? And then America lost nearly 200,000 manufacturing jobs when he was president, including, including tens of thousands of jobs in Michigan. And those losses started before the pandemic, making Donald Trump one of the biggest losers of manufacturing jobs in American history. So two days ago, Donald Trump's running mate suggested that if Trump wins, he might let the Grand River Assembly plant in Lansing close down. The same plant that our administration helped save earlier this year along with 650 union jobs. Michigan, we together fought hard for those jobs, and you deserve a president who won't put them at risk. And that's not our only battle. Across our nation, we are witnessing a full-on assault on other hard-fought, hard-won freedoms and rights, like the freedom to vote, the freedom to be safe from gun violence, the freedom to join a union, the freedom to love who you love openly and with pride. And the freedom to breathe clean air and drink clean water. Flint, you know all too well, Flint, that clean water should be a right for everyone, not just for the people who can afford it. And as president, I will continue.
plant to ensure you not only have clean water, but the opportunity to recover economically and thrive.